Hello riders and not today I am at Yamaha Press Day in UK. Yeah that is all line up of they said this is all Yamaha two wheels starting from 300 cc range so all the bikes are here and I had to choose from all of them imagine like how difficult it was the decision to make This video is sponsored by Monimoto, the GPS tracker, the best GPS tracker that I know. I'm using Monimoto on my motorcycle for five years. Why I like it and why I think it's the best GPS tracker on the market. First of all, it doesn't drain your battery. So at the moment, the battery of my Sportstar is in my sitting room, charging. <laughs> if I would have a tracker attached to my battery at the moment, my bike wouldn't have a thief protection, which now is still working because it's completely separate. So it doesn't drain your battery and also battery doesn't even have to be in the motorcycle and not just motorcycle. The newest Moto Moto 7 I have in my van. That is the size of the new number seven Moto Moto. As you can see, it's very thin and it's very small. As you can presume, that is very easy to install and you do it yourself. You don't have to pay anyone to do it for you. And that is a fob on my keys of the van. So if those two are more than 10 meters apart and this one starts moving, that gives a signal to your phone and you get a message from Monimoto that your vehicle is moving without the key fob. And you can track it. You can see it on the maps and you can call the police and tell them exactly where your van or your motorcycle, your boat, your car, or anything that you want to track is. I don't recommend to put it on your wife because she might notice that. And I'm starting today from XSR 700. I wanted to test ride the XSR 700 since I tested XSR 900 in Tuscany last year. A year later, finally, I got a taste of it. sound aggressiveness oh that's very nice and easy neutral easy to find so that that is very easy to start with with three wheels though. I'm kind of curious about it as well as feeling very strange. Is it a bike though? It's a trike, isn't it? That's a bike. Is it, well, it's it, bike it has three wheels. Bike. It has to be different. It, it has to be different category. No, still the same category. It's, it's to do with the track width. So the wheels are just close enough yes, together to, to not count as a trike. Oh, okay. At the very beginning, once I started riding, it felt light. 
but maybe because in my head I was still riding a heavier 1200 heritage naked in France. After a little bit more riding, it felt fine. More than fine. I actually, I love it. Now guys, I got my setup, my 360, my quadlock mount and I'm going for a little ride just by myself when the group is on the second shooting photo shoot and, and the ride. I feel like I need some time with a bike to feel it better, some, a little bit more time and also I need my time when I can like properly explore it rather than like following all the rest of the group I mean it, that was a fun ride definitely and they chose the amazing roads for us but I just feel for a review I need some time with a bike to like explore it my way plus I want to film it properly with 360 and with a GoPro for you guys As you can see all the controls are um, like reaching with no problem whatsoever. Also it's great that I had this first session in the morning. So now I kind of like a bit more used to it as well. And I, lo I like it more and more within every single time. It's, it's so agile. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, look how beautiful England is. Literally, guys. It's maybe no sun here, and maybe not very warm, and I regret I didn't take my underlayer. This is cold. But it is so freaking beautiful. Absolutely. Okay, let's get out of the speed limit. How sick is that? Like, literally. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. great everything like it stops when you have to it leans when you have to and it goes when you want to incredible guys incredible i'm five nine one meter 75 centimeters and as you can see both feet firmly on the ground so for my height that bike fits perfectly i feel absolutely confident comfortable and everything sitting on it and riding it once i put my foot on as you can see my knee sits nicely in the cut of a tank and it fits like the angle and everything is just perfect i love thin grips i love how easy it, it is to reach the levers and all the controls and overall the size of a bike is a perfect fit for me i mean i have no complaints about that
XSR 700 is the type of a bike that at the moment I like the most. I've decided that I really like a mid-range 600, 700s and even up to 900 bikes on the road. These are my favorite. And also I like naked, but with more character than just the naked. So XSR 700 kind of all together. I very rarely say things that I don't like about bikes, but I try to find things that I don't. And uh, on XSR 700, comparing with 900, what I don't like is this. I feel, let me show you. To me, this is slightly too cluttered, if you know what I mean. It's slightly too much happening here. I would probably customize it and make it looking less of everything. But that is just my opinion. For somebody, it might be like your favorite look of a bike. But to me, it's just a little bit too busy that part of XSR 700 so that that is like purely visually from the side that is one thing that probably I personally don't like that much whereas I do like the headlight of it and the front look and I do like the top this bike is so much fun So in the afternoon session, I'm on MT07. So far, the start, the sitting position on MT07 is different. It's uh, my legs feels wider, so maybe it just feel like the tank feels different and it's different stance as well. It, it feels more aggressive, but it's easier. Bike feels shorter in a way, but it feels more nimble straight away. Like th that first impression from that on that. Exactly the same engine. Funny thing that Grace prefers the MT07 and I prefer XSR 700, the sitting position. How different we all are, and like I think that depends a lot from what we already ride and what type of bikes. Because Grace, she rides sports bikes. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Which one do you prefer? Have you rode this one? I haven't ridden that one. I haven't ridden that one. You haven't. Neither of them. Ah. You're useless for my video. Oh. Username Kate. No. Username is... crap. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> she, she is absolutely useless today. Riding a R1. Sitting position on MT07. As you can see, it's lower. So it does feel lower. Like my feet are the same firmly on the ground, but I even have some bend in my knees. However, when I sit down, this is strange. It's kind of from here to here, I have a gap. So I don't feel the tank. And when I'm riding, I kind of sliding 
maybe my legs are too long for that and i spoke with one of the male riders the same height as me and he said he felt exactly like me sitting on top of it he doesn't feel in the bike so maybe it has to do with the height maybe or maybe me coming from that heritage from uh, the cruiser style motorcycles i prefer that for that reason that sitting position or is this feel strange? I kind of, I couldn't find my, I couldn't find where I sit on it. I just felt very alien and very different, which makes me want to try it more, to make it my own, to, to, to feel that bike, to feel if I really don't like it or, or if it is really not for me, or it's just because I'm not used to that and I haven't ridden it long enough to feel it. Except from like that strange sitting position where I can't find myself. All the controls are exactly the same, very easy to reach. However, the dash is in a different position. So being here, you kind of, this is easier to see when you're riding, at the same time is away from your side. So if you need to check your speed or anything else, you just quickly have a glimpse or is this kind of like a little bit more distracting. Luckily today I was riding with Grace from 5th Gear. Those of you who have a TV, you probably saw her <laughs> on that box called television. I don't, but I see her in real life and I have the opportunity to ask her because she rode both of the bikes and differently from me, she prefers that over that. <laughs> why, 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 why you prefer that over that? I think it's because your body position's slightly different. The seat's a little lower down, the bars are a bit higher up. I just prefer that position. And this just felt a lot more fun, sporty and agile. I felt I could flick it around a bit more, whereas that was slightly taller and not as much torque as this one. It's longer as well, so it didn't feel as flowy on the roads, in my opinion. But, you know, I'd take either of them any day. <laughs> <laughs> well, how strange that I felt exactly the same, just the opposite. The opposite way around. I mean, except from, this is more agile, this is more aggressive, this yeah, is yeah. more talky, and this, is feel, this feels like more badass, right? Yeah. I think this is a little bit like more relaxed mm. but i felt sitting position i felt on this like i'm one with yeah. the bike yeah how tall are you i'm only this five is, four this is a comparison so maybe it can be with height maybe you that's why you feel on the smaller bike you feel more possibly in yeah yeah and you were saying that this is a bit more of the style that you would ride as well so you're probably yes. a bit more comfortable on that whereas yeah i liked the aggressiveness of this that was a bit more chilled out so there's nothing wrong with either it's just that my preference was leaning yeah. towards this this episode is not about like the bikes separately mm. it's about for people to decide which one they would choose it's not yeah. necessarily this is better than this or this is yeah. better than this yeah it's exactly the same engine just those slight differences yes. but yes. if you're living with that that bike you want to know those slight differences exactly what suits you yes yes when you're making a choice so like this is just comparison from my perspective and your perspective yeah. but your perspective can be completely different mm. from ours what else what else did you found like comparing them in one day in one day i mean it was a, a quick ride wasn't it yeah, and yeah. we mainly took the bikes on twisty flowy roads um so again i liked the the sportiness of this that you could lean it around the corners um 
that being a bit taller I found it harder in start stop traffic like when we were getting to junctions and things but again that's probably just my height um, with the seat being slightly lower down I preferred that um, there was one thing actually that I did notice when riding it that the screen on the XSR is quite far forward so you almost didn't have to look away from the road very much to yeah. see your speed and your gears and I quite liked that on the XSR um, that was something that I quite liked about that bike um, but I mean the the digital screen on the MT is still brilliant uh, so yeah that was something that I noticed riding along whether that makes a difference to people that the, the screen setup was quite nice on the XSR so if you would buy today you would buy that I would, yeah. But no question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But this has made me now want to try the 09 and the 10 to see it, are they any better? Like, you can keep pushing it. But the 07 is just so much fun. Mm. And that's why I like it. <laughs> what do you normally, normally ride? So I have an Aprilia, um, an RRV 450, which is really sporty, um, much more similar to the R7. Uh, but because it's so sporty it's quite stiff um, and it doesn't have the the comfort of a road purpose bike so I am sort of looking at something that's a bit more comfortable but still got that sporty edge yeah and the MT-07 sort of ticks all my boxes that I'm looking for so and that makes the complete sense you coming from the sports bikes yes, you found yeah. this like more applying to you me yeah. coming from the heritage and, and mm. classics and and all that side yeah. i straight away felt on this like home yeah so yeah. whatever you ride before you might feel like Mm. more confident in the short period of riding but then yeah. again after riding longer we might change our yeah. mind yeah now i have to move the camera for this beautiful machine thank you so much <laughs> thank you thank and you for having me thank you thank you for riding with me i'm not gonna move that So today, guys, wasn't a proper review of each of those bikes. I don't feel I had enough time on them to properly explore and feel them. And the bike where I feel more comfortable on, I could feel better. Whereas the bike that is different riding position and different type of a motorcycle for me, I felt like I need more time with. But it was an amazing opportunity to ride both of those bikes in one day and to see how different they are. Don't get mistaken with the same engine and the same size of the motorcycle. They are completely different kind of animals. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.